Are you concerned about your child drowning in groupthink culture? Want to know how to support your kids to be free thinkers? You're in the right place. Hey, welcome back. I'm Dr. Dusty. And I'm Ray. We support healthy families to become culture changers that will make the world a more loving place. In today's video, we're going to talk about ways to raise children to be free thinkers so that our children can filter out all the nonsense and chaos that culture is blaring at them. Are you ready? Let's go. Community engagement is an important part of raising free thinkers as children. We aren't talking about throwing your children into a den of lions. No, we're talking about opportunities that you know will be beneficial to them, such as volunteering at your church or at a food bank or participating in a neighborhood cleanup. This will not only help your children develop a sense of empathy and compassion, but also expose them to a diverse range of perspectives that we encourage you to discuss with them often. Encourage children to make their own decisions, even if it means making mistakes. By letting your children make age-appropriate decisions that you know will only help them grow, this will equip them and train them in being able to take responsibility for their own thoughts and actions. Here are some simple ideas to start doing this. Give your child choices. For example, you can ask them what they want to wear, what they want to eat for lunch, or what activity they want to do. We love the Love & Logic method for this and use this as a reference point subconsciously throughout all of our days. The Love & Logic method of parenting is a parenting philosophy that emphasizes mutual respect, empathy, and logical consequences to raise responsible, confident, and independent children. The approach focuses on empowering the children to make their own decisions and learn from natural consequences. The book is linked in the description box below. One of the best things you can do for your children is to encourage their curiosity. This means providing opportunities for exploration and discovery, whether it be through nature walks, science experiments, or trips to museums. By fostering a sense of curiosity, you'll be giving your children the tools they need to explore the world around them, train them to be lifelong learners, and be able to grow with any opportunity that comes their way. As a parent, one way you can encourage your children to become free thinkers is by avoiding mainstream kids' entertainment programs. Mainstream culture wants to influence the way your children think and perceive the world around them, and they have a specific message and agenda that is being sprinkled into most shows and kids' entertainment. It's important to be aware of these influences and to take an active role in guiding your child's development. This means being vigilant about the content your child is exposed to. These programs often promote groupthink, where children are taught to conform to society's norms and not think for themselves. It's gross. And I would say the majority of us already are filtering through the muck of kids' entertainment out there. As you're doing that, look for movies, TV shows, and books that encourage creative, critical thinking and wholesome values. As your children gain a foundation of morals, principles, and values, they'll have a filter that is sound and isn't tossed back and forth to whatever ideology is popular at the moment. With that growth, and as they develop their own ideas and opinions, they can become confident, independent thinkers who aren't afraid to challenge the status quo. Homeschooling can be a place that provides all of the above and a host more unique opportunities for parents to customize their children's educations that align with their interests and values. If you don't homeschool already, I'm sure you know a handful of families who homeschool. As a homeschool parent, you have so much opportunity to promote free thinking in your children. By providing a flexible learning environment tailored to their individual needs and interests, you can help them develop a love for learning and creativity. You can expose them to a variety of perspectives through online courses, community resources, and travel, which can broaden their understanding of the world and encourage them to think critically about different ideas. Homeschooling allows for open communication between you and your children, fostering a safe space for them to express their thoughts and opinions freely, 
Overall, your homeschooling journey can be a wonderful way to promote free thinking in your children, helping them develop their own unique perspectives and ideas on the foundation of the healthy family culture that you are giving them. We love talking about this, as you can tell. So if you found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to providing you with more fun and engaging content on raising healthy families that will give the next generation a better future. Thank you.